Hey guys, what's up? It's Lawrence here again from J3D Tutorials. Um, if you've been following our previous tutorials, you should have set up Android Studio and your Android SDK, and you should be ready and eager to get your hands dirty um, with a Hello World application and something, uh, some a few more complicated apps as we go along. But let's start with a very basic, just a front-end application that will show a message saying Hello World, and it'll run on our virtual device. So let's start up uh, Android Studio. Don't need that to be full screen. And we can go create a new Android Studio project, just as we've done before. Phone and tablet, we'll keep an empty activity to start with, and we'll call it Hello Android. Package name, as before, you can leave that as the default. Save location, if you want to change it, you're welcome to. Uh, and then language, just make sure that's set to Java. Minimum API level will be 15, which means any Android newer than version 4 will work. Okay, let's go finish. And for a few seconds, Gradle should uh, build our task, uh, build our project, get the default files going, and here we are. Okay, so we've got two files open by default. One will be mainactivity.java. You can think of this as the back end of the application which means that all of the logic will be taken care of here. So any calculations or functions that you need to use in your app will, be, will happen over here. And the other file is called our layout file. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, and this activity main.xml file basically uh, describes how the front end of your application will look, out, will, uh, look like. So here we've, you can see we've got a constraint layout, and in that we've got a text view. A text view is another way or is an element in Android that's basically, um, you can think of it as a label or just a little um, piece where you can put text. So let's go uh, on the bottom here. You should see a button called Design. You can select that, and then you'll get a visual sort of representation of how our app will look. Obviously, for us, we're not going to be using the back end. Uh, it's just going to be purely a front-end application that we open the app, and it will give us a little message uh, like Hello World. So let's just, uh, before we install it and get it all going, let's just change this text, make it something more unique. Um, so you can click on the Hello World. You can either click on it over here or you can click on it uh, on the visual box. And you should see on the right some attributes and the text attribute is what we want to change. So here it currently says Hello World. We can make it say, Hello Android. How are you doing? And there we go. We can see it's changed. Okay, well, that's all we wanted to do for now. So let's see how we get it to run on our emulator. So as before, you just click the play icon, and you should have set up a virtual device in the previous tutorial. If you haven't, you can go look through uh, that, and you will have a virtual device available. So let's choose that one. Click OK. And our um, app should show, just like that. And there we go, guys. That's as simple as that. We've basically got a Hello World application going. Um, and we can just sort of exit out of that, shut down our virtual device. You can kind of power it off like you would a normal phone, or you can just close that over there. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. I uh, hope this helps. Um, if, uh, as usual, if you've got any questions, you can feel free to leave it in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe. It obviously helps me create new content as well. And you can look forward to new content soon. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.